What's happening, y'all? I'm here to give you my instant reaction to Pokemon Go. I'm too excited, as you know. Pokemon has a huge history. When I was coming up in middle school, we had Pokemon the show. The show was great. We had Pokemon the video game on Game Boy. I had it on Game Boy Color. I had Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold. After Gold, I stopped because there was too many Pokemon for me. I was on Pokemon Overload. Then, of course, we had the big hit of Pokemon cards. I never got a holographic Charizard. Still salty. Never got a holographic Mew, and I'm still salty. Ironically, people back then were getting robbed for their Pokemon cards. Today, people have configured the phone app already. It's not even a week old. People are robbing people via the app. Somehow, they are configuring their cell phones to be Pokemon gems, beacons of some sort. I suggest if you're going to be out in unfamiliar territory playing this game that you're not alone, be with some friends who can defend themselves. I suggest you know how to defend yourself. Do not get your ID taken, do not get your cell phone taken, do not get your debit card or your credit cards taken because it will be a hassle getting them back unless somebody has you at gunpoint. And if that's the case, then give it all up. And Pokemon Go came at the perfect time, at a turbulent time in our country. For as long as we know, police brutality has been the song and dance for this country as long as we possibly can remember. We need to get out of the house. We need to get away from CNN, away from MSNBC, away from our timelines, and out talking to each other, out talking to people, having conversations that we wouldn't normally have, talking to people who we wouldn't normally talk to. And this app has forced us to do just that. You're not gonna be able to catch a lot of rare Pokemon in your house. You're not gonna be able to train Pokemon in your house. You need to go and walk to a gym. I saw people on Snapchat at the National Mall, saw people at the Capitol catching rare Pokemon. I saw people at the cemetery trying to catch Gastly's. I saw people at the mall sitting on the escalators, standing in elevators, trying to catch rare Pokemon, interacting, talking. When I was out playing Pokemon Go, people were kind enough to give me advice. I was giving them advice and at bare minimum, we are exercising. To be great at this game, you must get out and run. You must get out and walk, and that's a great thing. It's dual purpose. You're catching Pokemon, you're becoming a master, and you're getting fit. And according to the Wall Street Journal, Pokemon Go has added $9 billion in market share value to Nintendo. And as far as my knowledge goes with Nintendo, before this app, they had yet to really make a big splash in the phone app arena. And this is crazy for Nintendo because they were the first company to really revolutionize mobile gaming with the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance and the 3DS, etc. So this is huge for Nintendo. I'm interested to see how they will keep people attached to the app. As you know, we're on to the next thing next week. I'm interested to see what kind of trends this will start. I'm interested to see what games will now be cell phone, mobile, interactive, real world. You have to actually travel by car, by bike, by skateboard, on foot to become great at the game. This is awesome, I'm loving it. What a time to be alive. What do you think about Pokemon Go? Do you like it, love it, or hate it? Do you think it's too dangerous? Are you scared that people will start hacking into your cell phone and start getting your information? Let me know, comment below, watch, like, share. Subscribe to the Mason Diction Entertainment page on YouTube. Like the Mason Diction Entertainment page on Facebook. And like the Good News Baltimore Facebook page as well. We got more movie reviews coming your way. We got more book reviews coming your way. We got more video game reviews coming your way. And we got more random stuff coming your way. I'm in the bathroom.